ಸದಾಶಿವಸಂಭಾಂ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಮಧ್ಯಮಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತಾ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರ ಧ್ಯಾನಶ್ಲೋಕ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಮಂತ್ರ ರಿಪೀಟ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಚಾನ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಮೌನವ್ಯಾಖ್ಯಾ ಪ್ರಕಟಿತ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮತ್ವಂ ವರಿಷ್ಠಾಂತೆ ಸದೃಶಿ ಗಣೈ ಆವೃತ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನಿಷ್ಠೈ ಆಚಾರ್ಯೇಂದ್ರ ಕರಕಲಿತ ಚಿನ್ಮುದ್ರಮಾನಂದೂಪ ಸ್ವಾತ್ಮುದಿತ ವದನ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ಮೇಡೆ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ದಿ ಆದಿ ಗುರು ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಟ್ರೆಡಿಷನ್ he presents that entire upanishadic teaching by giving an implied method that is called mauna vyakhyana vyakhyana means teaching how the teaching was given by the lord dakshinamurti ಮೌನೇನ ಮೌನ ವ್ಯಾಖ್ಯಾ ವಾಟ್ ಡು ಯು ಮೀನ್ ಬೈ ಮೌನಂ ಮೌನ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೈಲೆನ್ಸ್ ದೆರ್ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೌನಂ ಲಿಟ್ರಲ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೈಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಅವಾಯ್ಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವೆರ್ಬಲ್ ಎನಿ sound na no? that is called silence speaking verbally that avoidance is called silence but one cannot teach anything by keeping quiet it is illogical therefore here we have to understand mauna means there are two methods brahman cannot be taught through the words brahman cannot be taught through the words because any word anything if you want to describe in the world it must fulfill five conditions it must fulfill five conditions what are those conditions number 1 is uh, that object must be a, a substance <coughs> dravyam it can be a dravyam or substance about substance you can describe dravyam brahman is that which will not come under any substance it is not a substance to describe <coughs> so therefore description is not possible then second condition is to describe something it must have jati na jati means it must have a generic nature <coughs> generic in nature species vriksha jati pakshi jati manushya jati sam jati brahman is free from that jati <coughs> brahman cannot come under any species therefore brahman cannot be described third one is 
गुणहान गुणहान इफ एनी ऑब्जेक्ट इफ इट हैज एन एट्रीब्यूट गुणा यू कैन डिस्क्राइब अबाउट इट यू कैन डिस्क्राइब द ब्रह्मणि इज एट्रीब्यूट लेस प्रॉपर्टी लेस देयर फॉर यू कैन नॉट डिस्क्राइब निर्गुणहान then fourth one is called kriya <coughs> fourth one is called kriya kriya means action action you can describe about that object if it has a function screw driver by its function you describe that object but here brahman is nishkriya ha no action at all therefore you cannot describe then sambandha fifth one if you have any relation with others you can compare this person or you can describe that person with the relation that visitable vendor that person name you do not know you want to call that person that connection with visitables no you describe that person to call or something to say through the sambandha through another with another object with another object you can describe brahman is asangaha no sambandha with anything therefore you cannot describe five factors ruled out <clears throat> whenever you are describing something either it can can come under dravyam or it can come under jati or it can come under guna or it can have a kriya or it can have a sambandha all these five are ruled out in the case of brahman therefore therefore what you cannot describe brahman through the words then what about all the teachers what they are doing all the teachers who are all teaching scriptures then what they are teaching and what is not brahman are they teaching <clears throat> no they are giving brahma vidya only but how they are giving there are two methods of communication one is vidhi mukhataya nar it there is a method to communicate vidhi means uh, there is a method to communicate indirectly the veda veda communicates about brahman indirectly through implied method this is the first method implied way <coughs> implied means lakshanaya not directly but indirectly lakshanaya bhaga tyaga lakshanaya this is called lakshana vritti this is called lakshana vritti i don't want to describe all these things because i told you already this is a advanced phd text you are supposed to be already completed the upanishadic in taitriya and mandukya i have already explained what is lakshana vritti there is another vritti <coughs> called nishedha vritti nishedha vritti by negation by negation everything by negating everything negation method by negating everything 
after negating everything whatever remains that is brahman <coughs> you have to understand having negated everything after negating whatever remains my dear student that is brahman chullam kuramal kuri en artham ide kuramal kuriyana chullamal chullin that is the method neeti neeti iti vachanai hinar not this not this not this this is called nishedha vritti nar nishedha vritti nar by negation so these two two methods upanishad is teaching that brahman that is called maunam that is called maunam in this uh, indirect meaning how you get when you are going after completing the class you are going by car suppose another student come and asks you where you are going which side you are going immediately you don't give answer you say which side you want to go where you want to go you ask her that means what when she asked you which side you are going you have understood that she want a lift from you is yes? she want a lift from you you have understood she did not ask you that please drop me so and so place she did not ask but how you understood that is called implied that is called implied meaning the intention of her i have understood even though she has not asked without asking that a lift please give me a lift she has not at asked but still that uncommunicated words i have derived from that uncommunicated words i have implied that is called indirect way of presenting now nishedha mukha vakyam when rama and sita went to forest these ladies in the ashram we are all asking there are many gents were standing rama lakshmana another many gents are standing there these ladies were asking the sita he went to atri ashrama and these ladies were asking who is rama who is rama who is your husband show those days ladies they are not no supposed to show the finger towards the husband they are not supposed to say the name also those days so she didn't give any answer sita then those ladies were asking is that person then sita says nodding her head no no other person who is standing that side no like that one by one they are go on asking she is nodding her head no 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 when it comes to rama he is that person na then she kept quiet hmm ani kuda chollale she became silent mauna ana anartham he is rama understood how she communicated nishedham by negating all of them she communicated that he is rama like this we are doing so many in our life routine also like that nishedha vritti <coughs> that is called mauna vyakhya what he taught para brahma tatvam tatva means nature reality truth truth of what na brahman 
इनफिनिट ब्रह्मन वट इज द नेचर ऑफ दैट ब्रह्मन परम सुप्रीम सुप्र मीन्स वाट हु इज बियॉन्ड टाइम स्पेस एंड हु इज बियॉन्ड ऑल एक्शन काल अतीत देश अतीत हु इज बियॉन्ड ऑल एट्रिब्यूट्स गुण अतीत सच ब्रह्मण इज कॉल्ड परम हु इज दट दक्षिणामूर्ति I am doing namaskars to that Dakshana Murti Yuvanam, who is young. Yuvanam, Yuvaha. Yuva indicates the youngsters always have enthusiasm, positive way of thinking, interest in creativity. memory and a lot of admiration appreciation it compared to old people with compared to old people yuva is one younger youngest one is one who is having all these faculties therefore dakshina murti is the one who is very very enthusiastic in her. represents means uh, knowledge is a fresh an earth yuva indicates uh, fresh knowledge ever fresh and uh, enthusiastic always optimistic generally old people you know cynicism criticism always uh, the sign of old age <coughs> disappointment pessimism when you old age vara 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 All dreams are replaced by what? Na? All dreams, no? the old age, whatever. Eh? All dreams are replaced by either worry, or doubting, or criticism, or comparison. You know, those days they compare like that. And that is natural. That is sign of old age. Okay, nothing wrong in that. But here, guru is. Uh, Younger one, Dakshina Murti. <coughs> This Dakshina Murti, who is that? Yuvanam, <coughs> Varishthante Vasad Rishi Ganayi Avrutam Brahmanishthai. In the second line, to whom he is teaching? He is surrounded by whom? That is given in the second. line <coughs> you work another meaning we can take um, who is eternal ever young anatha dakshina murti lord is ever young okay no old ever nitya anartham yuvahan you can take that meaning also <coughs> physically mentally spiritually heal and healthy and yuvaha means nityahan who is free from old age next word varishishtante the mature person is called varishishtah varshi na old also जनरली ओल्ड पीपल आर मेच्योर पीपल इतना क्रिटिसेज पड़ा ओल्ड पीपल नौ यू हव टू प्रेज ओल्ड पीपल आर जनरली मेच्योर वयोवृद्धा शीलवृद्धा ओल्ड इन एक्सपीरियंस ओल्ड इन मेच्योरीटी आलो न सो वयोवृद्धा शीलवृद्धा वर्षी न ओल्ड अनर्थ वर्षीया मीन्स ओलडर कंपेटिव डिग्री वर्षिष्ठ मीन्स ओलडेस्ट सूपर्लेटिव डिग्री 
most mature students are sitting near dakshinamurthi mature informed experienced oldest varshiyan varshishtha superlative degree oldest varshishtha ante nar ante vasi anatha the who are staying with dakshinamurthi ante vasi staying in ashram ante vasi nar vasat means living nearby vasat vasad rishiganai vasan vasat vasantau vasantaha vasan vasantau vasantaha vasat is the prathama vibhakti ekavachana vasad rishiganai rishiganai vasad rishiganai rishihi means rishati janati iti rishihi nan who is very much informed in many things nan great rishis tapasvi is an artha who does lot of austerity nan lot of austerity the one who is having brahmanishtha teevra mumukshutvam here brahmanishtha means not gnani but brahmanishtha means teevra mumukshutvam who ever is having teevra mumukshutvam rishi ganaihi nar varshishthascha ante vasantascha वर्षिष्ठान्ते वसत वसंता ऋषिगणा दोज गणा मीन्स ग्रूप ऑफ ऋषीज दोज नेम्स आर नॉट मेन्शन हियर यू हेव टू सप्लाई सनक सनंदन सनत्कुमार सनत्सुजात फोर्थ नेम इज वेरी फेमिलियर सनत्सुजात because we have done that sanat sujatiyam sanaka number 1 first rishi sanandana second rishi sanat kumara third rishi sanat sujata fourth rishi all four of them called kumaras kumaras and their brahmacharis ever brahmacharis they are not married therefore all of them can be called as sanat kumaras whenever we say sanat kumaras all other three names also you have to include in four of them go together study together friends or brothers or brahma ji manasa putras four of them are brahma ji is brahma that devata brahma devata and manasa putras rishi ganaihi avritam means surrounded by brahma nishtaihi rishi ganaihi avritam with lot of maturity they have come here with full interest to know about brahman that is very important so they have come with so much bhakti and shraddha therefore saguna ishwaran lo bhakti irukana epome generally people think philosophy means we need not do any puja we need not worship any lord they think without saguna ishwara upasana or bhakti puja no one can come to philosophy we have to do regular daiva deva yagnam panchamaha yagnasla van yagnam deva yagnam puja is very important saguna ishwara puja is very very important and that uh, you represents that you are a saguna bhakta by wearing vibhuti 
by wearing chandan by wearing rudrakshamala or spatikamala or anything symbolically you appear as you are a saguna bhakta that is very important we need not show our secularism outside okay we can show our religious symbols outside very much happily therefore those indications all are good and therefore that tivra mumukshu is one who already did lot of puja eka roopa aneka roopa upasana sachche brahmanishthaihi what guru here now the description of darshanamurti ஆச்சாரியேந்திரம் கரகலித சின்முத்ரம் ஆனந்த ரூபம் சிஷ்யாஸ் டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் இஸ் ஓவர் சிஷ்யன் எப்படி வரணும் கிளாஸுக்கு பார்த்த உடனே இவன் ஒரு பக்தன் அப்படின்னு தெரியணும் அப்பா நல்லா கொஞ்சம் ஏதோ பூஜை பண்ணியிருக்கான் பக்தி இருக்கான் இவனுக்கு சொன்னால் கொஞ்சம் புரியும் அன்னி டீச்சருக்கு தோணணும் நீ கம்பல்சரின்னு சொல்லலை நேச்சுரலாக அப்படி போட்டால் நல்லது நமக்கு நல்லது தோஸ் ரிலிஜியஸ் மார்க்ஸ் வி கால் இட் ஆஸ் ரிலிஜியஸ் மார்க்ஸ் வி நீட் நாட் ஃபீல் ஷை டு வேர் விபூதி ஆர் நாமம் வி நீட் நாட் ஃபீல் ஷை அட் ஆல் இன்னும் சொல்ல போனால் வி ஹாவ் டு ஃபீல் ப்ரௌட் வி ஹாவ் டு ஃபீல் ப்ரௌட் I am remembering God every minute, every second by wearing tilakam, by wearing vibhuti. Such sishyas and the Guru, Acharya Indram. Who is Acharya? What do you mean by Acharya? Achinotihi Shastrani. The one who has collected the whole knowledge of the scriptures. Achinotihi Indram. shastrani not only has got that lot of information from shastra learned scholar in shastra achinoti shastrani but achare sthapayetyapi whatever he has learned whatever is said in shastra he puts in practice he puts in practice ஆச்சாரிய ஸ்தாபயத்யபி நாட் ஓன்லி ஹீ ப்ராக்டிசஸ் ஆச்சாரிய ஸ்தாபயத்யபதி அந்யான் ஆச்சாரிய ஸ்தாபயத்யபி ஈவன் ஹீ டீச் டு அதர்ஸ் ஹவு டு ஃபாலோ தட் ஆச்சாரா ஆச்சி நோதி சாஸ்திராணி ஆச்சாரிய ஸ்தாபயத்யபி so he follows and he teaches to others that person alone is called acharya acharya hanar anyan achare sthapayati nar acharya iti uchyate sach dakshina murti acharya ha indram mana shreshtha hanar ஸ்ரேஷ்டான ஆச்சாரியேந்திரம் வித் வாட் ஜெஸ்டர் ஹீஸ் சிட்டிங் கர கலித சின் முத்ரம் ஹீஸ் ஹோல்டிங் த சின் முத்ரா சின் முத்ரா மீன்ஸ் ஏ ஏ ஜெஸ்டர் ஏ ஜெஸ்டிக்யுலேஷன் ஷோயிங் ஹோல்டிங் ஏ பாஸ்ட் முத்ரா இன் ஹிஸ் ஹேண்ட் லைக் டான்சர்ஸ் they show mudra we also show some mudras and communicating something na no? this is namaskara mudra you show namaskara mudra you are communicating namaskara not talking but you are communicating like this chin mudra is very very significant mudra <coughs> that uh, that four finger comes closer to the thumb it touches the tip of the thumb and other three fingers 
తర్జని దిస్ ఇస్ కాల్డ్ తర్జని తర్జయతి ఆల్వేస్ నో తర్జయతి పాయింటింగ్ అవుట్ తర్జని మధ్యమ మధ్యమిక అనామిక అని దిస్ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో లిటిల్ ఫింగర్ దిస్ ఈస్ అనదర్ నేమ్ ఈజ్ దేర్ అంగుష్ట తర్జని దర్ ఈజ్ ఎ శ్లోక అండ్ శ్లోక చూడ ఈజీ ఎల్లమే శ్లోక ఫామ్లో ఇరుందా కంఠపాఠం అంగుష్ట తర్జని యోగ ముద్ర వ్యాజీన దేహినా దిస్ అంగుష్ట తర్జని అంగుష్ట అండ్ తర్జని జాయిన్ టుగెదర్ దిస్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ చిన్ ముద్ర అండ్ దీస్ త్రీ రిప్రజెంట్స్ త్రీ శరీరంస్ త్రీ శరీరం స్థూల సూక్ష్మ కారణ శరీరం దిస్ ఈజ్ కాల్డ్ కనిష్ఠిక అన్నారు కనిష్ఠిక ఆల్ ఆర్ స్త్రీలింగం ఫోర్ ఆర్ స్త్రీలింగం అంగుష్ఠ ఈజ్ పుమ్లింగం అంగుష్ఠ ఆల్ ఆర్ ఫోర్ ఆర్ స్త్రీలింగం రిప్రజెంట్స్ ప్రకృతి ప్రకృతి ఇన్ స్త్రీలింగ ఫెమినైన్ ప్రకృతి మీన్స్ మాయ స్థూల శరీరం సూక్ష్మ శరీరం కారణ శరీరం కమ్ అండర్ మాయ ఆఫ్ కోర్స్ అహంకార ఆల్సో మిథ్య కమ్స్ అండర్ ప్రకృతి ఫోర్ ఆఫ్ దెమ్ కమ్ అండర్ మిథ్య మాయ ప్రపంచం దిస్ థమ్ అలోన్ కమ్స్ అండర్ అంగుష్ఠం అంగుష్ఠ మాత్ర పురుష మధ్య ఆత్మని తిష్టతి నర్ అవర్ ఆత్మ ఈజ్ ఇన్ ద సైజ్ ఆఫ్ అంగుష్ఠ in your hridayam when you fold your fist and keep the thumb inside the size of that thumb much that much space alone is there that much space is there in your heart therefore that atma is compared to angushtaha don't imagine atma is angushtaha it's just a symbolic that atma this ahankara has to bend with humility detach it has to diverse talak 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 with three shariras our ahankara has to diverse with three anatmas this jeeva has to bend down do sashtanga namaskara namaskaram humility once you develop naturally you bend towards paramatma జీవాత్మ పరమాత్మ ఐక్యం దిస్ ఇస్ కాల్డ్ పూర్ణం దెర్ ఇస్ నో బిగినింగ్ అండ్ ఎండ్ ఫర్ దిస్ చిన్ ముద్ర దెర్ ఇస్ నో బిగినింగ్ అండ్ ఎండ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ పూర్ణం ఇట్ రిప్రజెంట్స్ పూర్ణం బ్రహ్మ ఇవరు ముద్రలో ఎవడ ఇరుక పారుగు ఎవ్రీ డే వీ గో టు టెంపుల్ యూ సీ ద పిక్చర్ ఆఫ్ ద లార్డ్ ఇన్ చిన్ ముద్ర నమ్మకి తెల్ల జ్ఞాపకం అవరుమా నవ్ యూ కెన్ రిమంబర్ This is called Chin Mudra, called Jnana Mudra. Chit plus Mudra, Chin Mudra. That which shows that consciousness principle, reminds the consciousness principle, which is Purnam, complete Chin Mudra. All three series. Ahankara has to be dropped. some people say you can keep at that root and starting point of the thumb this is also some people say this is also chin mudra but we prefer this because purnam <laughs> so this is fine not only that you see without angushtha these four fingers are useless <coughs> they cannot do anything even though they are taller than other this thumb huh? they cannot do anything try panni paarunga or naal idhukku endha vela kudukamale four fingers you can try you cannot do anything therefore this is very important like uh, you can put so many zeros without one what is the use you put one and put zeros goes lakhs lakhs and lakhs therefore this is about chin mudra but chin mudra ke vela history irukke chin mudra ananda murtim how he looks na 
ஆனந்தமூர்த்தினர் ஹி இஸ் இன் த ஃபார்ம் ஆஃப் ஆனந்த ஸ்வரூப ஆனந்த தட் விச் இஸ் நாட் பார்ன் அவுட் ஆஃப் எனி திங் she is not born out of anything this chinmudra ke or shlokam and the shlokam is like this angushtatarjani yoga yoga mudra vyajena dehinam shrutyardham brahma jeevaikyam darshayannu sada shivah adi or shlokam now ananda murti nar <coughs> who is always in ananda anartha sadguru anartha not sad guru sadguru then fourth line swatma ramam ramam aramam anna who is reveling in one's own atma swarupam dakshinamurti is reveling in his own atma swarupam swatma ramam முதிதவதனம் ஆல்வேஸ் இன் த ஸ்மைலிங் ஃபேஸ் முதிதம் இன் த ஸ்மைலிங் வதனம் இன் த ஃபேஸ் ஹூ இஸ் ஆல்வேஸ் ஹேவிங் எ ஸ்மைலிங் ஃபேஸ் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் ஆனந்த ஆத்மானந்த டு சச் தட்சிணாமூர்த்தி ஈடே ஐ செல்யூட் ஐ வர்ஷிப் நா வில் கோ டு த நெக்ஸ்ட் மந்திரா we'll read together second shloka vatamita pi samipe bhumi bhage nishannam sakala muni jananam gnana datara marat tribhuvan guru misham dakshinamurti devam ஜன மரண துக்கேதம் நமாமி தீஸ் ஸ்லோகாஸ் கிவன் இன் த லாஸ்ட் பேஜ் ஆஃப் யுவர் இந்த மானசோல்லாச புக் இந்த மானசோல்லாச தே ஹவ் கிவன் இன் த லாஸ்ட் பேஜஸ் விதவுட் புக் ஆல்சோ யூ ஹவ் பை ஹார்ட் நோ தட்ஸ் ஐ இட்ஸ் ஈஸி வேர்ல்ட் நவ் Next description, Vatamitapi Samipe, where this Dakshinamurthi is sitting? Vatavitanar, that is Vatavriksham, near the Vatavriksham, close by, or under the Vatavriksham, Vatavitapi Samipe. Bhoomi bhaage, they sat on the floor. Bhoomi bhaage, nishannam. This Shishya sat on the floor, nishannam. They sat, nishannam means they sat on the floor. Who are all these? Sakala muni jananam. the one who is the giver of knowledge to all munis sakala muni janana gnana dataram gnana dataram means the giver of knowledge dakshinamurti is one who is the giver of knowledge to those uh, munis who are all sitting nearby under the banyan tree nar vatavitapi samipe bhumi bhage nishannam sakala muni jananam gnana dataram gnana dataram arad arad means the one who gives teaching gaplessly in artham arad continuously not weekly once gaplessly that is one meaning another meaning arath means instantaneously he blesses those munis 
with that aparoksha gnanam with that aparoksha gnanam it is his communication skill it is his communication skill to communicate that direct knowledge instantaneously in her because uh, that much samarthyam he is having qualified students qualified teacher na samanyama so therefore here arat means uh, there is another meaning distant education an artham <laughs> distant education indirectly engyo irunda distant education or correspondence course <laughs> better to take arath means here he never allow the students to think that brahma gnanam will take place in future as an event that brahma darshanam will take place in the future and the madri thought varamale students ke communicate pannuva it is a periya job however much the teacher teach teach students are always waiting anda naalam yondudadu anda naalam mundudadu na brahma gnanam namaku innu varave illiya varave illiya na they are always trying to objectify the brahman therefore the teacher the excellent teacher is one who never give a gap to a student to get an idea that brahman gnana one day i am going to get brahman experience one day i am going to get and uh, that event is going to take place and the madri thought varamale this dakshana murti is teaching that is the meaning of arat జ్ఞానదాతారం ఆరాధ సకల ముని జనానాం జ్ఞానదాతారం ఆరాధ సో ఎవ్రీ క్లాస్ వీఆర్ చాంటింగ్ నౌ యూ సీ ద మీనింగ్ వెన్ యూ ఆర్ చాంటింగ్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు గో అలాంగ్ విత్ ద మీనింగ్ దిస్ ఇస్ కాల్డ్ మీ మాంసా నెక్స్ట్ థర్డ్ లైన్ ఐఎమ్ సెల్యూటింగ్ టు దట్ దక్షిణామూర్తి త్రిభువన గురుం ఈశం ఈశం మీన్స్ లార్డ్ సృష్టి స్థితి లయ కర్త ఈశ వన్ హూ ఈస్ పవర్ఫుల్ హూ ఈస్ కంట్రోలర్ బోధన కుశల అనర్థం ఈశ అన్న బోధన కుశల నాట్ ఓన్లీ దట్ త్రిభువన గురూ the guru of three lokas not only to chennai not only to only one india not only to one country not only to bhuloka tribhuvana guru nar lokas to all lokas bhuloka bhuvar loka suvar loka tribhuvana guru because of lord isham dakshinamurti devam to that dakshinamurti deva who is effulgent not only that these are all adjectives to dakshana murti what type of dakshana murti i am doing namaskara anna idella adjectives janana marana dukha chedam daksham nar daksham to that dakshana murti namami i salute who is dakshaha capable who is samarthaha capable of what chedaha in destruction destruction of what dukha saru dukha chedaha who is having a capacity to destroy the saru born out of what janana marana the compound always you have to go from right side eh? who is having the capacity to destroy the saru of people that saru born out of janana marana cycle dakshina murti is the one who is the destroyer of saru to that dakshina murti my salutations next shloka we will read chitram vatataror mule 
वृद्धा शिष्या गुरुर्युवा गुरोस्तु मौन व्याख्यान शिष्यास्तु छिन्न संशया चित्रम This is wonderful. Ascheryam in our thumb. Chitram. Chitram I am going to tell you. Ascheryam. What is Ascheryam? What is that wonderment here? Vatatar or Moolay. Moolay means in the starting point of the tree. Moolay means under the tree. Vatatar or Moolay. Vatatar or Moolay. Vatatar or Moolay. What tree? Banyan tree. What a taru mule. What a taro ho mule. That mulam and the beginning of that tree. What a taro ho shashti. What a taro ho mule. Who are all sitting there? Ashtari and Nana. Vruddha Sishya. All the Sishyas are above 75, 80. Old Sishyas. Vridhaha, Shishyaha. Students are old, but whereas Guru, you are. This is called Chitram. Generally, elders have to teach, you know, to youngsters. But here Chitram is not. Youngster is teaching the oldest people. Why? वेदांतल ल रुचि वर दे अपोदा जनरल आफ्टर रिटायरमेंट जनरल शंकराचार्य सेडिन भजगो विन्दम बालस्थावत क्रीडा सक्ता है तरुणस्थावत तरुणी सक्ता है वृद्धस्थावत चिंता सक्ता है सम मेच्योर पीपल इवन they don't have worry. They come to Shastra. So, Vridhahana, Shishyahana. Then comes to Yuva. Guru Hu Yuva. Guru Yuva. Who is the teacher? Yuva Hana. Dakshinamrti. How he is doing? Guru ho tu maunam vyakhyanam. What this Guru is doing? What is Ascharyam? Sishyas are old. Guru is young. Is wonder. Wonderment number one. Wonder number two is number two is maunam vyakhyanam. This is another wonder. The teacher already explained. Nishayadha vrittiyani, Lakshana vrittiyani. This is all the same. You can tell me what? Aha, maunama shulli kudutar. Last class was shunna. Maunam can be understood in many ways. In a wrong way also we can understand. Therefore, here maunam vyakhyanam. The means that through the implied nishedha vritti, lakshana vritti, it's a great wonder. No one can teach. Uncommunicable subject matter, Brahman is communicating. That is wonder. That is wonder. Whatever you can communicate, when you are communicating, it is not a wonder. Communicable thing, if you communicate, it is not a wonder. Which is incomprehensible, which cannot be described. Yatho vacho nivartante, words cannot reach there, mind cannot reach there, intellect adhimena cannot reach there. Such a subject is communicating in a chitram. Wonder, Maunam Vyakhyanam. Through that teaching, what he is doing? Sishyastu Chinna Samshaya. He is making the students to be free from Samshaya. He is destroying the doubts. Chinna means he is breaking in Artha. Removing, breaking. Chinna, removing. Samshayaha, doubts of those students. Shishyastha chinna samshayaha. Who is having doubts, guru or teacher? Shishya only. So those 
doubts is teaching uh, removing because a doubtful knowledge is as good as ignorance it cannot come under knowledge therefore the doubts must be clear doubts about ishvara doubts about the individual nature doubts about that paramatma jagat all these sandeham samshaya nivritti should take place that alone is called knowledge chinna samshaya through mauna vyakhyanam he is removing all the doubts now see here in the class also you are not discussing with me you are not asking any questions and many students come and say swamini exactly what i have expected you have cleared my doubts anna ni kekave illiye an ketta anna you are not asked me i do not know what doubt you have got but my teaching is removing all your doubts many students comes and says నాకు కేకలామని నెనిచే స్వామిని ఆనాలు కొంచెం తయక్క కేకవే లే ఆనాలు నీకు చొల్లిటాడు అదే ఇప్పుడు ఎప్పా అన్న అప్పటిదా చిన్న సంశయ ఆహా బికాస్ ఆల్ డౌట్స్ ఆర్ యాన్సర్డ్ ఇన్ శాస్త్ర అండ్ స్టూడెంట్స్ థింగ్స్ స్వామిని నోస్ తెలిపతి అన్న స్వామిని ఈజ్ రిమూవింగ్ ఆల్ మై డౌట్స్ అన్న ఇల్లే all doubts are have been already dealt in shastra next shloka fourth shloka nidhaye sarva vidyanam bhishaje bhavarogiṇam gurave sarva lokanam దక్షిణామూర్త నమ హియర్ మౌన వ్యాఖ్యానం ఇన్ ద ప్రీవియస్ శ్లోక సమ్ బుక్స్ దే హ్యావ్ జాయింట్ మౌన వ్యాఖ్యానం మౌన వ్యాఖ్యానం టూ వర్డ్స్ సపరేట్లీ టూ సపరేట్ వర్డ్స్ ఆర్ యూ కెన్ జాయిన్ ఆల్సో both are okay mauna vyakhyanam or maunam vyakhyanam now this shloka all are very very beautiful descriptions sarva vidyanam nidhaye my salutations to that dakshina murti namaha dakshina murtaye namaha first verb you have to say namaha my salutations to whom to whom to dakshinamurti dakshinamurtayena this is chaturthi vibhakti dakshinamurtayena to that dakshinamurti my salutations namaha to dakshinamurti what type of dakshinamurti again description all are adjective to dakshinamurti once you see dakshinamurti all should come in your mind nidhayena nidhi nidhi means a treasure house nidhaye chaturdhi vibhakti no for grammar students i am telling others can blissfully forget nidhaye means to such dakshina murti who is the treasure house of what sarva vidyanam all branches of knowledge sarva vidyanam means all branches of knowledge care of mundaka upanishad ఋగ్వేదో యజుర్వేద సామవేద ధర్మణవేద శిక్షా కల్పం వ్యాకరణం నిరుక్తం ఛందస్ జ్యోతిషం ఆల్ విద్యాసకి సర్వ విద్యానాం నిధయే అన్నారు నిధి అన్నారు ట్రెషర్ హౌస్ నిధయే సర్వ విద్యానాం నాట్ ఓన్లీ దట్ భిషజే భవరోగిణాం టు బిఫోర్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయినింగ్ దట్ ఐ వాంట్ టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ another important points here regarding to this sarva vidyanam nidhayena very little bit technical very important information of all sciences of knowledge the three sciences are important if you want to get any knowledge in any science especially in the scriptural knowledge brahma vidya veda vidya you require 
త్రీ శాస్త్రమ్స్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు స్టడీ థరో నెంబర్ వన్ ఈజ్ పద శాస్త్రం నెంబర్ టూ ఈజ్ తర్క శాస్త్రం నెంబర్ ఫోర్ ఈజ్ వాక్య శాస్త్రం పద శాస్త్రం తర్క శాస్త్రం వాక్య శాస్త్రం పద శాస్త్రం మీన్స్ ద నాలెడ్జ్ ఆఫ్ లాంగ్వేజ్ ద హోల్ కమ్యూనికేషన్ డిపెండ్ అపాన్ లాంగ్వేజ్ If I speak Chinese language, can you understand? Kang, Kyung, Wang, Wang, and then you cannot understand. Hmm? That language, what you can understand, only I have to speak. So you also must be sufficiently informative in that language what Guru is speaking. And that Guru is also sufficiently informative in communicating in that language so this is called pada shastram knowledge of a language is very very important this is number 1 number 2 tarka shastram is called pramana shastram pramana shastram or tarka shastram both are one and the same logical thinking the teacher must have the knowledge of right thinking logical thinking means right thinking the student also must have right thinking right thinking so tarka shastra specializes in proper thinking the proper thinking alone brings that language out whatever you think only you speak so here must there must be a proper thinking otherwise what you speak now you blabber something so proper thinking that brings you proper right language you use and you communicate these are all very very important what is the vakya shastram that is called mimamsa shastram we see in the next class పూర్ణమద పూర్ణమిద పూర్ణాత్ పూర్ణముదే పూర్ణ పూర్ణమాదాయ పూర్ణమేవాశిష్యే ఓం శాంతి 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 హరి ఓం శ్రీ గురుభ్యో నమ హరి ఓం